yeah buy an african wife for six cows that's roughly a thousand usd <laughs> in our culture, uh, dowry, in our culture, kissy culture, dowry is in the form of kettle. Cash is most often used today currently but not exclusively cattle are still sometimes used as a form of payment <laughs> The food. Yes, from you see, this is the this is the ugali of women. You see, ugali of wives. And this is the sawas. This is the cabbage. The pilau. And this is the manager. <laughs> 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 What? I'm not going to be here. 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 I'm not going to <laughs> oh, I know this is going to be a controversial topic and I know this is why you click this video because of the title but I'm going to explain it because with the kissy, I'm fully kissy by the way, my dad is a kissy, my mom is a kissy, my great grandfather is a kissy, like I'm kissy, that's my tribe and kissy is a tribe in Kenya, one of the many tribes in Kenya. So the kissy celebration are marked with singing and dancing. <laughs> Thank you.
So she's like the way the women came together, women of my village came together to cook for the occasion. Sorry, Tuesday, <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Wrong, to Munda, you Japan. Let that was a good What I will get the money. What I will get the money. What I will get the money. What I will get the Thank you. Thank you. So guys, welcome uh -huh. back to Kemto's Bear Channel. Uh -huh. Today it's into if introduction. My sister actually, the husband is coming to introduce himself. In Kisi is called Ekegeni. In Kikamba it's called Jave. In Kukuyu it's called Rorashio. Mm -hmm. So, we've actually made food for them. So, to kuapa inje to nawangoja, to akambishe, according to Kisi custom. Me si jui, but nimekuja hapa ndo nijue. I've come here to know, because maybe one day, hata minda chukuli, I'll be married. So, tumehose. Nikonu jinga. Yasi. Yes, <laughs> you <laughs> I do say the she of course of course <laughs> Thank you. 
Traditional, various traditional music instruments, men drink traditional beer and smoke tobacco. Sorry guys, so I am so mad. It was my first time using this GoPro Hero Silver, 7 Silver. So I had even to reduce the quality because it shoots on 4K but I had to reduce the quality because my SIM card was only 16 gigabytes and then it just formatted itself so it's the SIM card. I need to upgrade on a SIM card like maybe 128 gigabytes or 265 gigabytes. Yeah, so it's my SIM card that formatted this GoPro so I don't have any footage but likely I managed to get some footage through my sister but they sent it through my sister to be by Africa they sent it through WhatsApp anyway I'm gonna try as much as possible to explain like doing the clips I'm gonna edit uh, edit this video and see like try and explain it uh, here and there yeah so yeah i'm excited anyway so congratulations to my sister gladys she lives in mombasa guys and uh, that's why we don't see her mostly on camera and she doesn't like camera actually so this this was a good chance so at least i had went with i went so at least i have some videos recorded with my normal camera this one that i'm used to so i'm gonna be putting it bit and bit but i was so i wanted you to see the way we cook so i'm gonna try and match and explain this uh, so we are kissing my sister is kissing a full full blown kissy from the goosey abagusi goosey or abagusi that's what we are called and i'm gonna leave on the description door box our tradition of course things are getting more 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 modern so i don't know like let me just explain it and then my sister is being married off to to the kamba wakamba that's a tribe in kenya in kenya we have like almost 
over 42 tribes so these tribes i'm telling you it's uh wakisi and kamba so my sister was married off to the kamba so the kamba also have their traditions marriage traditions and kisi we also have our marriage tradition so we come halfway and we meet so the thing we were coming today it was the introduction called ekegeni if you are kamba you know what what is called in kikamba leave your comments down below and if i, I if I'm failing, let me know also because ah, most of my footage got lost because I don't know, like it's stressful anyway. So this is it. And we're also Bantu speaking people. I think also Kamba are Bantus. So our traditional marriage is, I've write some notes here so that I can like explain it to you. So a long time ago, marriage by abduction as the practice where a man takes a woman by force are her and then attempts to use the stigma of R and should she become pregnant this the shame of pregnancies to secure the marriage this practice only occurs this is by rare occasion it only occurs when a man cannot afford the required bride price a payment by a payment made by the husband to the wife's family in order to establish a marriage. I'm looking down because I have notes here. A long time ago, it's not everyone can afford a bread phrase. I think in my culture, you need like about six cows to get a uh, like uh, to marry a woman, and one cow, uh, one one cow equals to like maybe 25,000 Kenyan shillings. Just divide any, everything by a hundred if you're approximately 100 or 150 like it depends on the exchange usd currently so i'm seeing prices in kenyan shillings so 25,000 kenyan shillings that's like maybe 200 dollars or 250 dollars depend on the exchange rate so times five so that's like 100,000 kenyan shillings so you know guys in kenya the economy is really really low so people will like not everybody can afford to pay the bride price so if a family is very understanding you just go with whatever like the in-laws are bringing in in the compound but long 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 time ago the traditions were if a, a man will resort to uh, to marriage by abduction when he finds himself in competition with other suitors and he fears that he will lose the woman especially when 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 you go like because it's in the village we usually go and fetch water in the river so this will happen during when going fetching water in the river that's when the abduction will occur so this marriage by abduction usually occurred among the goosey from the 1890s 1940s 1950s and 1960s nowadays it's just uh, what people will do will just like the modern dating culture right now in kenya is people will just go habit go 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 habit is it called, called come we stay like they'll just start living together and this is the now the what happened between my sister and my brother-in-law they just started living together and they produce two beautiful children and when they were like able to now afford to come like pay dowry first i'm just gonna tell you that this is the introduction this was not the like official bread fright <laughs> <laughs> Check. 
Nataka muangalie. The introduction, aka Reni, is where like the the in-laws come to introduce themselves themselves that this is the person they've taken and they're interested with this. Um, a girl from this family and then they are told like the the villa the elders the elders of the girl will tell like how much bread press they want for 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 the woman and then they are gonna come back <laughs> My name is Sharon. I'm the oldest grand granddaughter here. <laughs> First cousin, Baba Yake, na Baba Yangu, Baba Yangu the last boy for your family. Na Gladys, my cousin and my friend. Karibuni. Na wasalimu, habari ya kushinda. Ana Robert, ni mwana wa familia moja hapa. Karibuni. Felistas Josephat, hapa ni mbani. Thomas, Thomas, 
Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Amen. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema kwa sababu tuko kisi. Kwa majina anaitwa Mary Msioki zaidi yote nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Na ngala ndio ndugu yetu mdogo. <laughs> na tuko na brother wangu mwingine hapa ataji introduce. Na niko na my sweet heart pia hapa ataji introduce. Yes. <laughs> Is my mom. Ah, is my daughter. I am not a introduce, but I am I I am I am I kile ndugu wakati ile njia alipitia akienda huko ukambani nilipitia achili nikienda kitu ipi amen ngangu na mimi ni first born ngala ni shemeke yangu na mama yetu ako hapa opia ni shemeke yangu wewe ni kama ni ndugu yangu kwa ujumla kwa wetu yeah barikiwa sana na sasa tuko na rafiki Na huyu ni mwishi, tuna mtarajua mwishi miwa. Uwa na natoja. Ana banana. Ana natoja. Ana natoja. Ana natoja. Ana natoja. Mashiba, <laughs> 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 Yes, you do 
Selina, ukiwa hapo. Mama, uko baasha utapatiwa hapa. Tuko na mamangu hapa, tumesema na kupatia zawadi ile tumesema ya pole. Napatia mamangu ndapatia. Yoya hapo. Kuna baasha nyingine utapatiwa pia. Ndio pa, baasha ya pole. Kwa mtoto kukaa nje miaka mingi. Aya, abu jamali sada madai. I sasa na ya tuambie ni ani ni baasha kona yao. I baasha, pesho tu bifika hapa na kule kwe tu tu kifika zinjo na pikan. Na leo mufanya tofauti. Eh, eh. Wepeana baasha kwa nini? Wajeri wepeana. 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 Hiyo baasha anataka kusema kwamba hiyo baasha iko na chakula ile wangekuwa watupatie hiyo ni uongo chakula ya kwanza sisi nafikiri tumemaliza eh eh vya zake zote mpaka kutembea ni babake school on beautiful unaona kama yao ni Umeona vizuri? Naona nilifanya kazi. Umeona vizuri? Mimi amewapa amewapatia yo. Sunana yeye ni mdogo. Kwa hivyo mkienda nyumbani mkiona giradi sasa amekaa sana bila kukuta kusalimia mama yake. Kukuta yeye. Kukuta salimia nani? Mama yake. Kwa sababu mama bado anahitaji watoto. Wakiwa wanamwangalia kila wakati, miaka yake itafanya nini? itaongezeka. Sasa vile hata mimi uko na shida kidogo lakini naendelea kupona. Wakiwa hapa wa mpake hata ile inaitwa Nauma kama rock. Mm. Usiku hata kienda kulala na smile. Akiwa peke yake. Thank you so much for the good work done, Madam Selina. You can go now and sit down. Asante. Eh uh, Tukiwa hapo hapo uko So this is team cut out top the prints and the hair and the glasses. This is the glasses. People are so loud. Everyone is everywhere. So this I'm showing my OOTD. How do you live, guys? Because there's a lot of sun. And of course the wig is so Lakebo, wig, yam. How are you feeling? And then this one is from. I got it on my Fab Fit subscription box. This I stole from my sister. It's a hair tie. And yeah, it's a I'll try and show you in nature. Okay, let me show you this side. The lighting is good this side. I don't know, guys. I'm in the bathroom. I don't know how you feel. If I eat actually, you go to the eat. So yeah, that's the feet. And then this is my back because this is where I'm coming here, guys. Okay guys, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll try and put all my sister, all my sisters down below. Yeah, I love this so much. Yeah, and then the earrings also from my fab feet. Okay. Kujeni karibu. 
Kujeni baka hapa na uji introduce. Mhm. Yes. Sasa unaitwa nani anaye? Unaitwa? Anaye. Ni mtoto wa nani? Karibu. Ah, nawe wewe? Wewe unaitwa? Ella. Mtoto wa nani? Karibu. Amesema wa? Wa mama. I put on a shank was in your mouth. So in smart. Wow, go smart. Lot of fire, Nini. Lot of Panicuna are twinkling. Jude, put on a shank. Why is she carrying you? Emi, you know how to bend the thing. Emi, you know how much fun you sell a bow shoot. Bow shoot content. I tell her that you can't. And I'm not going to go sad. When you get up, you go. I'm not going to 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 go. I'm not going but that is a way what you can take best. This is the cabbage. The pilau. We are using the bread. The chapati. And this is the manak. Paka wase wajue Uwi Galia wimbi na ya So hello girls Ayo basi Kuna toka kwa na kwa Hi guys So mwa peni What's happening now We are the Kala Jilas Yasia in Kikamba it's called Chave and now we are being served food. Yeah. And we are wearing our traditional outfits. Yes. How do let us let us stand up? Stand up with your <laughs> and you stand up. Tell us about your shirt. Where was it? <laughs> Okay. Okay, mine was made with a Macadamia man. Come sit down. Just find paper to show me. Oh, Joe, I'll find you a sharp paper. I designed them. I designed them. Okay, so I was the one who made this hair because I was so tired of paying, paying the money for salon. <laughs> So here's our food, we are all eating. So we have chapati, still, pilau, and ugana. 
This is the way you are served in Kisi. Okay, let's
Mambo kofiti Eh mbeto kofiti Eh be coming back like next year after the, like maybe after I don't know like I it's like a secret now so next year probably I will also not probably I'll shoot also that so yeah stay tuned stay tuned I hope you're following me so yeah so during this period the price price rose to heights unattainable unattainable by most men as a as a result of drastic changes with the economy i'll write this i'll write my notes down below because some people don't understand my accent uh, yeah so if you don't understand my accent click click on the description box below so during this period the bright price rose to heights unattainable by most men as a result of drastic changes within the economy despite the practice practices historical preset precedence so yeah during this time people could not afford the bride price they'll have runaway wives eloped daughters and abducted women in goosey land so in this like we are just in the modern world right now so my sister what my sister did is like basically elope like he just she just come we stayed and the, in that come we stay they produce beautiful children and now is when the time like right now is when like they could like afford because of the economy is really high rutara to kula like uh, this government has been really stressing family values like people are not getting married or people are not affording kids people are not affording marriages because of the economy people want to get married but it's the economy that in a to nyanyasa so if you come from an understanding family the bride price like uh, tradition loosens so that like you can be able to produce a family you know but right now like as we currently speak that uh, abduction does not exist among us the goosey and if uh if the, it still did the cause will rule over in favor of the women so what currently exists is people just go cohabit and co co come we stay like they start living in together like husband and wife as much as it's not the abduction is not like common and uh, as it has been it still does exist like the um, a man unable to pay the bride price or in competition for a girl he wishes to marry will follow her until she's alone while she's collecting maybe water or firewood for example and then will literally grab her and carry her carry her home with him even if someone witnessed the abduction no one will intervene since it is a practice that is neither condemned or nor condoned the man then brings her to his home and are are her no longer so when no, no longer a virgin she becomes an appealing to other men and more receptive to her abductor's efforts to either encourage or shame her into staying with him in order to spare her family and her clan from embarrassment it was a sad time <laughs> it was a very sad time for the kissy girl long time ago also female abductees can be women who reside in either rural or urban areas as evidence she recited a case of a woman who 
Living in Nairobi, returned to her village to visit her family and had been abducted and held against her will for three weeks. Although her boyfriend traveled from Nairobi to rescue her, her clan did not approve of his intervention. On a final note about marriage by abduction, the pro the say that if a girl or woman decide to remain with a abductor, he will eventually need to pay the bride price to sanction the marriage. But it's not that... <laughs> Nowadays, it doesn't happen. To be honest, like to my experiences, I've never seen that. It's women are like women are willingly like living with their their better half, and then they'll come back and pay bright price when they are financially able to. And it's not like they will negotiate. It's not as much like they pay like exactly a hundred hundred thousand dollars. That's like a hundred not dollar hundred thousand Kenya shillings. That's roughly like a thousand. USD so they will negotiate negotiate here and there and if you are able to pro provide that well and good if you ever even provide more than that well and good nowadays families are accommodating because everyone understands there is a f economical crisis so everyone is participating willingly <laughs>
Traditional marriage basically is was established through the payment of bride wealth in the form of livestock or money. So if you want to give like livestock six cows, uh, that's the bare minimum. Or you can give like in form of cash, a thousand dollars and above. Bride wealth was paid by the husband. Bride wealth is paid by the husband to the wife's family. This act is established. This act established a socially approved marriage. Traditionally, divorces are rare and require the return of the bride wealth. So traditionally, kisses we are farmers. Uh, we are mainly farmers growing crops such as figa millet, sorghum beans, maize, sweet potatoes, and bananas. The kisi we we also the kisi also make soapstone carvings. Basket, basketry and pottery and we also traded with the neighboring communities for tools weapons car, crafts livestock and agricultural products we are neighbors with the luos and the nandis the the kipsigis the masai that's that's our neighboring neighbors a modern <laughs> modern kisi if you can if you can say it so myself but we still Oh, many of our cultural practices are still embraced towards us and are passed from our sisters to our sister, from my mother to my mother, like from my grandmother to my mother to me, and then, yeah, you get it. And they are still influencing by the changes. We are still, they are still, our culture is still being influenced by the changes in our society right now. So, marriage is called Enyangi. Enyangi. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning a lot about, about my culture. And a traditional marriage in Gusi and the related steps. So this is the first step. That what we are like we are sh showing in this video is called Ekegeni, the introduction. The in-laws introduce themselves to the, f the wife's family. So and then after that they will discuss, negotiate between the elders of the of the village. My dad should have been present, but my dad passed away. But now the he's represented by the 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 elder men in the community. These are my relatives, my cousins, my my uncles, my 
you get the gist so they negotiate the price price and when they come to a conclusion to a okay agree when they agree on the price when the both parties agree on the price price they go back and okay like it takes because it's because of the economy right now but if they had the had the dowry price right there and now the the introduction and the dowry the dowry price ceremony would have happened at the same time but uh, yeah so that's what happened nowadays the traditions are more more flexible yeah my my, my culture bagusi it attached I attach a lot of value for a lot of value to marriage. It was a major landmark in the growing up of a man or woman in that society. Marriage marked the transition from the care of one's parents to being independent and taking care of oneself and one's family. The transition was possible only after marriage. The importance of marriage and honor it was accorded is underlined by the respect that was given to a married woman. For example, she found herself late in getting home by someone. That person had an obligation to ensure that she got to she got to home safely. After all, she was a mother and a progeny will be the link to the future. It's very common right now. Like people will live together and then they'll pay dowry like after they've lived together or in a perfect world they'll pay dowry before starting to live together and then after that they'll pay dowry price and that is considered marriage even in the court of law is considered marriage and then you go to the court of law and legalize it uh yeah but yeah i'm sorry some parts were left out so in this uh, celebration in my i will I will talk about my traditions because my sister is being married to a Kamba tradition and I don't know the Kamba culture. Anyway, it's like this. So in our tradition, when the in-laws come to introduce themselves to the family, we have to cook for them. That's why there was a lot of cooking. Like in a kissy home, you have to feed your guests. So we cooked a lot and uh, we sing and dance and just wear traditional outwear. Out, out, out and yeah, so and the families and the in-laws, they introduce themselves. That's the, the other clips that you'll see here and there. I hope I've touched. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Support this channel on PayPal patreon and also you can support by super thanks it's just right here i think down here or here and super thanks also subscribe to members only videos guys i'm gonna be doing members only live streams where we can have our like it's like a face time i know you guys love that do you love that you love that so yeah subscribe to that i'm gonna be doing one live stream per month for my only members and then i I will cater to that community more more and more i'll grow that so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm so bumped up and i'm so sad like i had a whole visual but thank god my sister i was also recording for my sisters for my sister my kibiba africa so i was she's, she was able to send some stuff before she deleted them and yeah anyway if you enjoyed this kind of videos, big thumbs up.